A local author is sharing his inspiring story about growing up in foster care. He went from childhood poverty to graduating from law school. Oh, such an incredible story. David Ambrose is the author of A Place Called Home, and he joins us live to talk about becoming an advocate for the foster care system. David, good morning. Thank you so much for being with us. Hey, good morning to you. Okay, so first, just share some of your story with us. Yeah, it really began 42 years ago. My family grew up uh, homeless in New York City, Boston, and other cities on the East Coast. My mom suffers from a mental health issue, and it became worse and worse. But I was born into homelessness, lived there for 11 years, and eventually ended up in foster care uh, in a number of states back east before uh, emancipating and going on to college and you say school of law, as you mentioned. It's been one hell of a journey. Yeah, wow. to say the least. Yeah, and you're now an attorney seeking to change laws for children in poverty. Talk about what you're actually doing right now. Well, what I, what I ask folks to do is to close their eyes and imagine if they had to put their own child in foster care. And what does that system look like? What we try and do is fix things around the edges, which is important, and it has gotten better. However, that's not a system that anybody, I believe, would want to put their child in today. And we need to create a system, a law or laws that create the system you would want to put your child in. Today, there are hundreds of thousands of homeless kids around the country. There are millions of homeless families. We can do better. We sent a man to the moon. And if you had to make that decision for your own child, we should create laws that create that beautiful home that's nurturing, loving and therapeutic that I only unfortunately experienced in one of my pl many placements. Oh, that's so unfortunate to hear, but you did eventually successfully transition out of the foster care system. So just explain more about the need for more yeah. families to get involved if they can and become a resource parents as they call them now here. Yeah. Well, I, I think a lot of us start with why we can't why we can't go to the gym, why we can't do X, why we can't do Y. And a lot of it makes perfect sense to us. But the reality is we should start from a place of what could we do? What might we do? And maybe you can't do the foster parenting, but you could become a volunteer. You could mentor. You could donate a dollar to the scholarship fund for foster youth. But should you be able to, we really should recruit and train and support more foster parents into the system. There are too few homes. There's too few people doing the work. And part of my memoir, there's a whole policy prescription in the, in the afterword, which I put in the afterword. So if you're not a policy wonk, you don't have to read it. But the idea is how do we change the system? One of which is foster parents need our support. A lot of folks don't foster because they don't have the economic capability to do so. So what if we, for example, what if we made them employees of the federal government hmm. for health care, for pension? What if for foster parents and their own biological children, what if those kids went to college for free? All of a sudden, a lot of folks that thought they couldn't might begin to. So I ask folks to really think about what they can do and do that. And if you can foster, if you can adopt, absolutely explore that. But collectively, we as a city, we as a society, we as a state and a country, we can do better by these children. There should be no homeless children in a country that sent a man to the moon. There should be no kid emancipating from foster care without a house as it is happening today in a country that sent a man to the moon. And, and we can do better. Just one stat that always knocks me on my butt. More foster kids will go to jail upon leaving foster care than will go to college. We should all be ashamed and we should all be motivated and inspired to do better by them. Wow. Something tells me your book is going to help us with all of that. And yeah. where can people actually buy your book? Well, you, you can buy it on your, any of your favorite local bookstores. I go to Chevalier's in Large Pond Village, but of oh. course, Book Soup on Sunset is one of my favorites. But I do work at this company called Amazon. You may have heard of it, <laughs> and it's available on Amazon as well. Um, but wherever you buy your books, I hope you will pick it up. I hope you'll read the story of my family and get inspired to do something. This is, this is so important because the need really is so great, especially here in L.A. Yes. County. So uh, thank you so much thank for you. being with us this morning, sharing your story, and, and we look forward to reading the book. Yes, again, thank it's you called so much. A Place Called Home. All right, thank you. Yeah, there really is such a great...